Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of prompt engineering course where in this video we'll be discussing about RGC prompting. So before starting this video, let me just demonstrate this lab to you. We'll be using prompts to get outputs from ChatGPT in an effective way to get our desired results or desired outputs and also we'll be applying prompt engineering techniques to improve our output. So yeah, before starting this video, let me just tell you what RGC means, what is its abbreviation and you know what is the meaning of that. RGC prompting is is actually named as role result goal context and constraint prompting this is actually a very effective technique uh, to present a robust structure that can be applied universally to any input and intended out and the objective is to establish a standardized format uh, that optimizes the framing for chat gpt and thereby enhances its performance across a broad spectrum of input so what this basically is this is actually kind of a you can say a constructive predict prompting that we just did in one of our previous videos so in this prompting you get to give chat gpt a role a goal context and constraint like limitation of any situation or anything or any kind of a work or you can say a task that you want to assign on ChatGPT, right? So ChatGPT will monitor all of those uh, things that you gave, which were role, context, constraint, and everything like that. It will uh, monitor those and it will analyze those and give you a desired result or desired output that you want. And any, like, it can be any work, any task, any kind of format that you want ChatGPT to work on and give that result to you. So this is basically RGC prompting. RGC means like ChatGPT is working now as uh, you are giving it a role you are giving it a goal and you're giving it a context or a constraint and at the end it will give you a result for that okay so yeah just like every other prompt it also has a formula so you'll type you are an expert in the role whatever role you'll give it to chat gpt and you say create a result and then you'll type in your result and you say my uh, the goal is you'll put in your goal and then you say the contact if the content is then you add your context as well and at the end, you'll also tell chat to be the, the, uh, the limitations or constraints that you want these things to be uh, that uh, the things you want chat GPT to be careful on. Uh, so, yeah, and this will be the example that we'll be doing today. The role that you'll be assigning chat GPT will be to you'll be making chat GPT an expert marketer and you want goal to be uh, to drive more sales to my product and your context will be uh, to write an email for my online audience of entrepreneurs. Uh, obviously the result will be uh, you want to create an email that you'll be sending your team of entrepreneurs or you know, uh, an audience of entrepreneurs. And the limitation on that will be uh, you want the email to be less than 200 words. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's just jump right into our chat GPT. All right, so here I am with my chat GPT open and I've also typed in my example with the role as an expert marketer and with the goal to write an email and yeah, I want that for my audience of entrepreneurs and this is my limitation yeah so let's just uh, quickly hit enter and see what kind of output is gonna give it to us all right yeah so as you guys can see it just created a whole format of an email for us so you say hi you then you type in your first name and you're saying hope this email finds you well thriving so a little bit of a uh, welcoming uh, text at the end and this is also uh, put in the introduction for us and let's just quickly see what type of body it is it has put like whether it is right or not so yeah uh, these are actually kind of message for entrepreneur like don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to just transform your business so yeah as i told a chat dvd that this, this will be for the audience of our entrepreneurs and this will be like you know to boost our uh, business or sales right so yeah this so this email seems to be absolutely perfect for what kind of uh, desired outputs we want so yeah that will be it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you do don't forget to check more videos on our channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you bye bye